guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got an unboxing for you, and yes, it's a Diamond Art Club! Yay! <laughs> okay, guys, you know I'm a fan of Diamond Art Club, and this one is a round, as you can see on their box. The round diamond paintings have a circle for the round, and also you can see a pink strip over here. So, which one did I get? I got fairy tale blue i think on their website it's called the blue fairy but i will check and if that's not correct i'll show it you <laughs> it's a mandy manzano my first mandy manzano there are a lot of first here guys <laughs> and it's a it's a round shape it's 55 centimeters by 77 centimeters so let's open her up look even the box do you see these snowflakey things even the box got sparkle oh and on the back of the box it gives the instructions on how to use diamond painting how to do it how it works what the kit contents no experience required okay oh guys i'm already so happy <laughs> so inside so inside the kit there's a large sticker with the picture Fairy Tale Blue, Mandy Manzano and the color list and the symbol list and the DMC code. And this one has got 31 colors you guys and 1AB, that's the 130, that's number one. Um, just a little heads up, when you order a Diamond Art Club the DMC codes under 150 are um, ABs, that's Aurora Borealis and Aurora Borealis means Northern Lights and those are just drills with an extra coating that makes them sparkle a lot more. You also get a small sticker that one you can put on the outside of your book like this in case you want to store them but what I do guys I put them in my logbook here's your toolkit it's a basic toolkit that you get let me just show you the contents in case you've never seen one before you get your diamond painting pen your boat, it's a see-through boat. The squishy that you can put on your pen for some for grip. And there's a four-placer that you can put on the other side of the pen. So there's a single placer over there and a multi-placer over here. Two plates of heart-shaped wax and a couple of baggies okay are you ready for the canvas oh i'm so excited so this one the mandy manzano i hope it's got a bit of a stained glass um, effect on it she's known for that and well it's port blue the canvas guys is really really soft and I already know that because this is my third Diamond Art Club. I have done a card fairy dust and I have done autumn wool. Right, so inside there are the drills. We'll look at them later. And there's a step-by-step -step instruction. And inside there's a, a, a discount code that you can use for a next purchase. The canvas has got scalloped edges to prevent it from fraying and the canvas itself is not just soft but it actually has a function because it's self-flattening and it's supposed to contain the, the colors for a longer time. So, well, let's just hope that it does. Okay, guys, are you ready? Oh, here we go. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, ho, ho. wow! Oh, yes. And you know why I picked this one? Okay, first of all, 
I love fairies. Fairies, mermaids, butterflies, uh, birds. So, okay. But this one, because of the uh, halo and the, the light beam over here, I think that will be great once it's done. And I think it will create a really great um, stained glass effect. Wow! <laughs> in guys, with all the diamond art clubs until now, in real life they're so much more beautiful than when you see them on the on the website. And um, before you purchase a diamond art club or any other canvas, for that matter, uh, you should really watch some unboxings online because. Then you can see the reactions of the of the creators and you can see, wow, you can see them. And I wish you could be here with me, just standing next to me and looking at this painting because, guys, even without drills, <laughs> I already love it. Okay, so this is the blue fairy and um, in case you don't know the story, guys, this is Pinocchio and this is the blue fairy. Who helps him come to life? Oh, and it's it's just as sweet. I must say that actually Pinocchio. I think it's quite a, a scary story when you're a child, especially when uh, when all those kids well they grow these tails and things like that. But okay, maybe that's just me. I'm a bit of a chicken. <laughs> okay, guys. Let's look at the canvas up close. You get an inventory on the right bottom side, on the left top side, and there's also a thumbnail. And there's a schematic with the name Fairy Tail Blue. That's her official name, not the Blue Fairy. And, well, the stickiness. Ooh, I almost didn't get my finger off. That's really great. And as with the other two diamond art gloves, the glue, it's port glue and it really doesn't get outside the lines. Just a little, little, little bit. Okay, and just take a look at the symbols, guys. You don't need a light pad. You really don't. And, um, oh wow. And with Manny Manzano, when you want that stained glass look, well, there's a lot of black in it. So. You can expect a lot of black, but I think this part that will turn out great. Okay, I'm going to take you through the painting, so I'm going to get up close. So, guys, this is the bottom of her dress. I'm going to show you the dress first. Look. Wow. She got a beautiful blue dress on. And her face and... She hasn't got eyes and a mouth and a nose drawn into her. There's another Mandy Manzano and I find it a bit scary, but not with this one. And also I like the way that they did the arms. It's really a stained glass look because you can see all these division. This really looks like a stained glass window, I think. Well, and her wings and her beautiful long blonde hair. Right, and then this also is her her dress. Oh, guys, wow! <laughs> oh, that's going to be really, really, really great. Okay, so we did her dress, then we go up here, and here's Pinocchio. Please, I just want to be a real boy. Oh. And we don't see a long nose, so. And he's looking up at her. I think that's really sweet as well. Okay. And then, wow, I think this part will be great once it is done. This will shine so bright and this will have like, wow. Oh God, guys. I really think this will be beautiful once it's finished. Here's her little baton. I don't know if I used the correct word in English. I will look it up and otherwise I will put it here, the right word. Sorry guys, I'm Dutch. So, and that background. I really think that will be great. Oh, and her bodice. 
But do you see, guys? Look, it's like little um, blocks that they made. And that really gives the um, stained glass effect, I think, to enhance it. And you know what? Maybe it's just me, but I see a little wolf in here. And here, do you see that? Like a little goat. Or maybe, if you look like this, it could be even an entire animal. Oh, and on this side as well. Look. Do you see that? Oh, wow, I hadn't noticed that. I think, guys, yes, look, this is one. And this is the other. And then this, the black with the little bits, that's her dress. Wow! <laughs> oh, okay. <gasps> wow. Okay, is it just me? Have you noticed that before? Oh. Wow, guys. Wow. I'm blown away. Mandy, thanks so much for creating this beautiful artwork. I'm going to love working on it, I'm sure. And, um, right guys, um, is it color blocking? No, it's not really color blocking. There's these you can multi-place. Um, I think you can multi-place. But just, oh, there are wings you can multi-place with, uh, with a larger number, but the other ones, well, I think a four-placer, maybe a six. Well, those are my multi-placers of preference. Oh. The drills. They don't come pre-bagged with Diamond Art Club. But they come in these large bags. These are called trains. I don't know why people call them trains, but okay. Um, these are little wagons, I think. Uh, guys, in case it's your first time here on my channel or your first unboxing, I don't show each individual bag. I, I find that boring to watch myself. And in case you really like, uh, watching trains um, there probably are many other unboxings of this uh, diamond painting on YouTube so maybe you can watch them over there I'm just really curious about how many three tenths are going in there so how many bags of three tenths three tenths is the are the black and that's used for the outlines and many Manzano is famous for using a lot of three tenths so I'm going to count how many bags of three tenths there are and of course I'm going to show you the AB and where the ABs go and maybe if I see a color that I really like I'll show it right so the three tenths one two three four five six six bags of three tenths in this one well that's not too bad and you can see the color palette it's a browns and yellows and a little bit of gray. I really like this color, but you know guys, my favorite color is turquoise. So of course this is one that I really, really like. Look, you've got all these blues and I think that's really, really pretty. This is a really pretty color. Okay, the ABs, let me check, yes, okay. So there are not a lot of ABs in this diamond painting, but I really don't think it needs a lot. I'm not, I'm not adding any extra ABs, I'm just going to leave it like that. And this is the AB, it's a yellow one. Oh. Look, can you see it? They're extra sparkly. There are not a lot of them, so I, do, I don't think there will be a lot of AB in here 
Well, it's number one, so let's just check out on the canvas where we can find it. Okay, right guys, number one are here in this circle, just as I had expected. And there are a few over in here and a few in here in the rays of light. And maybe some in her hair as well? No. No, they're not in her hair, so they're all situated over here. Well, I think that'll do. And they're just sparkling between a little bit in the, in the sun rays, but over here there are quite a lot. Alright guys, now all that's left for me to do is to choose my diamond painting bonbon. In case you don't know what a diamond painting bonbon is, the diamond painting bonbon is the part of a diamond painting that I save for last. Just like a little reward for doing the entire painting. And I, will, I make time lapses of my diamond painting bonbons. Um, so you can find them on my channel as well. I'll put a link over there in case you want to see what that's about. And I already know what my diamond painting bonbon is going to be, guys. It's going to be... Pinocchio! I don't think you'll be really surprised by that. But I think it's great to leave him till the end. Well guys, <laughs> let me know what you think about this painting. Did you know about the animals? <laughs> uh, or am I the only one that's surprised by this one? Um, I really think this is one of those maybe a bit underrated diamond paintings from Diamond Art Club because I've seen a lot of uh, many Manzanos but I haven't seen this one. Maybe I'm not looking in the right place. That could be it as well. But I think she will be absolutely stunning. And she's around. Um, I find that really <laughs> great as well. Because I'm already doing um, the uh, Josephine Wall uh, from Diamond Painting Deutschland. Which is a square diamond painting. So to do this one next to that, that'll work. Well guys, let me know what you think. Um, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet and you would like to see more of these kinds of videos, uh, consider subscribing by hitting the subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification bell right next to it because then you get a notification each time I put up a new video. I'm going to put her back in the box because I can't start with her just yet. I love her. Mandy, thanks so much for creating this beautiful artwork. You got a new fan and that's me because this is my first but I'm sure I'm going to be buying a lot more of your artwork from Diamond Art Club. And Diamond Art Club, well, you hit it out of the ballpark with this one. I'm so impressed. Really guys, I'm so impressed. Okay, guys, Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!